<laughs> okay, Maui had too many restaurants for us to make like a restaurant video, right? So we thought something different, right? This is five unique Maui food experiences, not just restaurants, but how to like integrate it into your day and have a really great experience that you'll always remember when you come to Maui. Yeah. I'm excited, you can tell by my voice. <laughs> <laughs> That's the key. These are like super memorable food experiences that we have had here. Oh, and we can't wait to share it. This was really fun. Top five, here we go. Hi, I'm Jordan. And I'm Erica. And this is the Hawaii Vacation Guide. And he's had a lot of coffee. <laughs>Number one, this one is in Kihei at South Maui Gardens, and it is a unique place. It's more than just a food truck park. It's like a food truck park in a nursery or in a garden. Yeah, it's an oasis. So you walk in, so you you don't really see it from the street, really. You see a car parked outside advertising it. You walk in, and it is, it's a nursery, so it is beautiful, and there are plants everywhere. And there's butterflies going over your head, and they got nice lighting at nighttime, yeah. and then they have the restaurants kind of around in the mall. And it's cool, because all the restaurants work together. Yeah. They all like share each other's like food and recommendations, and they complement each other really well. You can go for lunch, or dinner time. Yes. It's a great dinner, like date night place to go. Or if you just hit the beach in Kihei, because Kalama Beach Park is right down the road, you can just hop over here for lunch. You have, first of all, De Green Coffee, which... Great coffee. Wow, it was delicious. Friendly service is really nice. Then across the street is yeah. Blue Door Pizza. They make sourdough pizza, plus some other baked goods. Yeah. Very cool place. And then we also went to the Kotoko Maui food truck, which was unbelievable it was so good we got the lobster benedict i want to go back like right now it's gourmet food right yeah. it's like the menu's phenomenal it's locally sourced stuff the chef is there with his sous chef super friendly guys and it's not it's not like a 14 dollars hawaiian plate lunch right this no. is gourmet good cooking that's why it's so nice for a date night give you the tail on there and then you get the claw and all the extra head part and the whole area you can sit outside there's nice tables there's you know some covering from the trees they got live music playing it's just it's an experience which is why it's on this list and number one number two heading up to upcountry up on the volcanoes ulu palakua ranch store plus maui wine is across the street so this has been rated one of the best farm to table restaurants on maui it's not really a restaurant it's counter service you can get hot dogs and mac and cheese and all this really good stuff the meat is sourced mostly from the ranch which has been up on the volcano for over 100 years wow. it's really cool there's actually a really nice gift shop there too it is a cowboy store there are cowboys there work in the ranch with their ATVs and their horses. It's a cool experience. You don't realize you're on Maui. And, and the food is really good. I think it we really need to is like, nice. really yeah. say that. The food, <laughs> the food is great and the views are wonderful. Big burgers, you can eat outside. It's a nice vibe there. And then across the street is? Maui wine. And that is so much fun, right? They have pineapple wine, which makes them famous, but they have tons of other wine there also. <laughs> and it is also a beautiful garden. They have great wine tasting there. It's always a nice group of people hanging out. They got long games. It makes it a lot of fun. You can complement those together. Lunch plus wine tasting. It's a fun experience. And it's quite a drive to get there, but I have to say the drive is part of the experience. It's beautiful. Driving up and up country, like you will enjoy the journey almost as much as you will enjoy the meal and the wine. And that's why in our Maui itineraries, we have an up country day. We love up country, plus going to Haleakala, but just spending the whole day in up country. And it's nice to end your day or at least have a good stop there at Ulu Palakua Ranch Store. And we're going to stay in upcountry for number three, which is our OO Farm Tour lunch edition. So we had the great experience of visiting OO Farm. So what it is, is you can go through, learn about all the plants, pick them, sample them, taste them. That's disgusting. <laughs> and then they go into a multi-course meal that is prepared on site by a chef using almost everything that is found at the farm and it's delicious so you have beautiful views because you're on the slopes of Haleakala it is absolutely stunning it's these great tables that you sit at it feels yeah. like you're having like a Tuscan lunch so it's yes, nice over at flowers and the, and the chefs there telling you about all the meals and where it comes from on the island so that brings us to our kind of first main course which is an urban custard pan seared tofu Today serves with the toasted black rice and white quinoa. And who caught the fish that day? And it is leisurely. Mm -hmm. It is leisurely. It's BYOB, so you can bring that bottle of wine if you want. And Henry would just kept running off and playing and having a good time. You can bring your kids, or it's a great date too. Yeah. All the tables are separated. You can have a very nice 
personal intimate experience there. And OO Farm is part of Pacifico, which is in Lahaina, yeah. too. So a lot of the food from the farm goes down to the restaurant. Makes for a fun experience. Very. Another one of our favorite dining experiences on Maui is a twofer for you. It's fun. You go to Ono Tacos, which is this great little food truck right off the highway in Lahaina. Hard to miss it. You can see from the highway. Then you go to Kohola Brewery, which is right next door. And Kohola Breweries bring your own food. So grab some tacos here, then walk over the brewery for drinks. Ono Tacos food truck. Kohola Brewery this way. And Kohola Brewery is one of my favorites for happy hours. It's my top 10 happy hour list for Lahaina. It's cash only at the taco truck. But there's so many food trucks in Lahaina. So many. The Cannery Mall has some there. There's even one across the street that's new. Do we have a video on food trucks we can <laughs> share with them? I think we do. We got you covered. We have a video and an article. So pick your favorite food truck and head to this brewery. It's a very laid back, lovely experience. Happy hour is four to six. So that's a good time to go. They have wonderful beer. So my, my favorite IPA is there. And then after six, they usually have live music. So it makes for a nice experience. The chairs are on the table. The floor has been swept. It's closing time and I'm a little tired. It's a long time since I slept. The things are moving forward. I'm ready to move on. Heading for a brand new start at the break of dawn. Number five is on the opposite end of the cost spectrum from Kohola Brewery. Mm -hmm. This is going to Mama's Fish House. We can't ignore it. It lives up to the hype. It does. It's just so good. It's on this beautiful cove, beautiful location. The food is wonderful. The experience is wonderful. Yes, it's very expensive and it's hard to get a reservation, but it's worth the effort. And the food is good. The prices are high. It's fine dining, but it's not stuffy. No, it's That's not That's what all. I should yeah. say is it's actually really kid friendly. There were a lot of children there. They had some great things that Henry could play with. They had a nice cakey menu. The wait staff and everyone is just so lovely. It's just a great experience. My favorite part about the fish menu is that they usually have either the fisherman's name or the boat the fish was caught on locally. And that's the thing they've been doing for decades there. It's always been a very local restaurant. They just, in the last 20 years, have become like famous. They've gotten famous. They got an executive chef. They stepped up their game and it's paid off. What I love too is a lot of their chefs or sous chefs have left and opened up food trucks or restaurants around Maui. Mm -hmm. So this has really elevated the food scene here. Mm -hmm. Even on a cloudy day, Mama's Fish House still looks nice. Can you imagine on a sunny day? <laughs> If you love food and you want to make sure you have good meals when you come to Maui, you should check out our itinerary, the hawaiivacationguide.com slash Maui. That gives you our Maui itinerary and it has a quick hit section that, oh, it's so good. We have listed out all of our favorite restaurants and we update it quarterly as we learn of new places. So if you're looking for our favorite restaurants, because we're not going to make a big video on it, go to our itineraries. <laughs> We hope that you have wonderful food experiences and just all around experiences when you come to Maui. So thank you so much for watching. Thanks for watching.